Hello, welcome to the Crown Oil Arena and thanks for joining us for a slice of tonight's Papa John's Trophy action. It's a crisp evening in Rochdale where Salford need a win to progress to the knockout stages of the competition while Dale need just a draw. Either side is still capable of topping Group D. Group B depending on Manchester United's results at Morecambe next week so we have all the ingredients for a tasty contest. Bringing you every kick fresh out of the box are your delivery men, myself Will Moorcross and joining me Matt Cunningham and Pineapple. So Matty Don't on the left hand side for Rochdale. Go short. And McNulty dispossessed. Armstrong to Smith. Back to Denny. And Denny looking for his outs. Again, it's the switch up the left hand side, just too far in front of Burko. But then Smith is there to take the ball back off Dooley. Burko coming forward on the left hand side, trying to take on Harrison Hopper. Gets through Dooley as well, charging towards the area. Burko put back to Bruno Andrade. Just leaned back and got underneath the shot. I think you think that's the pitch problems they had when they faced Tottenham in the FA Cup a couple of years ago. It's almost unrecognisable, this surface. Yeah, the pitch looks fantastic. And we were saying before the game, it looks a bit bigger than the pitch of the Peninsula, which, you know, tends to suit Salford. Sort of like to stretch the pitch. But Rochdale as well. They like to play possession football. And colleagues at Radio Manchester suggesting that Brian Barry Murphy is a very possessive-based manager as Beasley receives the ball. And slots it past Vlad Safalaki, opens the scoring game with his first goal for Rochdale. It's a simple ball over the top, not dealt with by Salford. And it is the former Rami Jake Beasley who puts a sting in Rochdale's tail. Be uh, Rochdale 1, Salford 0. Yeah, as you said, Will, it, it was a simple ball over the top, but it's great work from Jake Beasley. The first touch is fantastic, and he just gets the wrong side of the defender. And from there, the finish, a bit of a toe poke with what you would say might be the wrong foot, but he does the job and puts the ball away to put Rochdale up. 1-0 only 10 minutes into the game. Last well, year, the first time they've not progressed from the group stages since it changed formats, but three years prior to that, they topped the group. There's Lynch, that's right under his goal kick. It's not the best clearance, and Salford will look to capitalise with Andrade, just to the left of centre, back now for Smith. Smith being closed down, but picks out Burko. Burko now with the pass back in field for Andrade. Switch back to Denny. Gets away from Beasley. Short pass up into Burgess and does really well to get past his men. And then he's nudged down by Rathbone. And a free kick in a promising position here on the right hand side. Bruno Andrade composes himself for the free kick. Fielding and Armstrong options in the middle. Golden makes a run, but Andrade goes for goal himself and ripples the side netting. Lynchard moved across to the left, but not a bad effort from the Portuguese. Here's Jim McNulty for Rochdale. Forward pass up into Beasley. Just peeling off Fielding, who wins possession. Finds Burgess. Burgess now to Andrade. Solved with the pace going forward. Andrade out to Hawkins, into the area. Onto his left, hits the shot. It's not a bad opportunity from the tightening angle. And Lynch forced to push it around the post for another corner. The big, big chance for Salford. Rochdale just opened up and were about to come forward, but on the turn of possession, they found themselves with a bit more space, which for all the nice football they've been playing, they haven't really had that kind of space. They've been playing it in tight spaces and narrow areas. It opens up for Hawkins and he hits it quite well. One of those sponsor names, it's a bit of a mouthful, but one you'll probably never got bored of saying. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> an unusual one at best. I've got to say, from a website point of view, it's a bit more SEO friendly than leasing.com as Hawkins hits a shot that caught Jay Lynch by surprise, but former Salford stopper does parry it down to the ground and collect it the second time of asking. Throw comes in from Burko and Smith. This is fielding to the right hand side. It's a good pass up to Andrade, driving towards the area, hits one that comes off the bar. Jay Lynch was rooted. And Andrade, if it was just a little bit lower, would have found the equaliser in there. A ferocious shot. That's top draw from Bruno Andrade. The only way you can get better than that is if it sails into the top corner. But the ball in behind, he picks up that pocket of space in behind the midfielders. And the centre-backs can't come out and get to him either. Jay Lynch just takes a few touches back in his area before sending it long down the middle, headed away by fielding into Martin Smith, it's a good pass up for Luke Burgess and now Armstrong's free on the left hand side picked up by Hawkins though, whips his foot round a shot 
and it just goes wide of the right hand post but not a bad effort from the young Welshman now Rochdale coming forward Ollie Rathbone the captain turning out to the left hand side picks a pass in Matty Doan back to Rathbone Rathbone seeing Beasley make a run forward finds him Beasley back off for Rathbone advancing down the left hand side gets the cross in Tavares went for the overhead kick it comes down and it's a good save by Vaslav Aladki to deny Jimmy Kirhan doubling Rochdale's advantage here now Andrade again gets past his man waiting for the ball to drop down for him goes down and it's free kick dead central right at the top of the D weird hush seems to drop over the Crown Oil Arena perhaps an anticipation for a big finish from Andrade composed himself right footed step so it does curl it in this time he does find the back of the net it's two goals in two games for Bruno Andrade and Salford City pull themselves level here at the Crown Oil Arena this time he gets it right. Yeah, there it is. We've been waiting for it. There's been plenty of chances. A lot of them coming from Andrade as well. He's hit the crossbar. As you said, he's gone wide left, wide right. He's found lots of spaces in around the 18-yard box. That one almost seemed effortless. Passes over to Rathbone. Rathbone back for McNulty. McNulty into Rathbone, but it's a misplaced pass. Now De Sarue trying to hold off Rathbone. Turns, square across for Denny. Denny looking up towards goal, cuts back inside, now it's square across for Smith. And over to the left hand side to Burko. Burko looking for the cross, in it goes. Elliot arriving in the middle, O'Connell to the back post, it's headed on. Manny Deesarue gets up. Jay Lynch on his goal line though, catches the header. I think anyway, either side of it, that could have been sort of for nudging themselves ahead. Plenty of height in the box. Deesarue and Elliot preparing to make runs as Smith floats the ball in. Deesarue does come to meet it. He's pulled down and it will be a penalty for Salford. Yeah, he's, has he given it? Yeah, he's got a handful of Deesarue's shirt as he jumps up for the ball there. Penalty for Salford City. And who takes this? Because this is a big moment in Salford City's Papa John's Trophy campaign. This could be a very decisive moment in this game and... Manny Deesarue dusts himself off up against Jay Lynch. It's a long run up, right footed. He sends it to the bottom right, and Salford City leads here at the Crown Oil Arena by two goals to one in the final 10 minutes. And if things stay as they are, Salford are going through. What's the important thing now? What do you do? <laughs> yeah, it was a good, confident penalty from the centre forward. He won the penalty, he took the penalty, and he put it away nicely as well. Urko on the left. Referee Brown is whistled, speed Salford up. It's De Sarue, wins possession high on the left. There is the full-time whistle, and Salford City from behind are through here to the knockout stages of the Papa John's Trophy. And a great win coming from behind and coming from an unexpected position in the group.